Mesolite visual here with another video. Um, if you mark you this area, the living uh, slash dining, then check on the 3D window, the mark you. This is what you get. We have an ex exposed trusses. We don't have a ceiling in this uh, space. And then we have unfinished uh, walls and uh, the floors. So that's basically what we're going to look at in this video. So we're going to create um, the finishes for these spaces. We're going to create the ceiling. We're going to create the floor finish and then put plaster finishes to all the walls. We're going to look at things like cornice, putting cornices around the joints between the ceiling board and uh, the walls. Also, not forgetting the, the skirting around the joint between the floors and the, the walls. Okay, without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. Go back to the floor plan. Here, we're gonna use, we're gonna learn how to use um, the zone. Zone is one of the powerful feature in labeling the rooms. Uh, it's not just for labeling; it does a lot of uh, activities instead of just labeling. So yeah, let's select the zone and then go to file. Oh, sorry design from design go to design extras under interior wizard we're going to create a room accessories click on that this window pop out this window is um, uh, a list of all this the activities that we're going to do we've got ceiling and then walls and floor accessories so it needs to be filled information to all these parts so we're going to start with the ceiling click on that tab Go to the ceiling um, under the accessories library. There's this plain ceiling 24. If you don't have this, make sure, let's say, okay, make sure, cancel. If you don't have that in your list, make sure you go to file libraries to load your accessories library, which is basically, it's normally there in the default um, Archicad uh, installation file under your program files so let's check program files life is soft then 24 there we go that's your accessories library i have it already loaded i'll cancel so let's go back to the window go back to design design extra having this zone being selected it's very very key and then interior wizard create room accessories this one will pop out we're gonna start first with ceiling accessory then this i'm gonna go to custom settings after selected the the object the, the ceiling object in the library you go to settings so before you go to settings, you see the preview here i don't want to i don't i'm not happy with the settings the graphic and then physical settings of this what i would do i'll go to custom settings and then here I will leave the surface as color whitewash. The thickness is fine at 20. And then 2D representation. I will change the control pen to um, color 6 in the color table. And then fill background pen. I will say no. I don't want to fill it. Then I will hit OK. Make sure the layer is appropriate. I will find um interior ceiling ceiling interior unfortunately the layer is off but it's fine we'll, we'll switch it on after we've placed the object so from here you hit ok and then this window is waiting for the switched off layer you say show the layer of which is fine and then we move into the next finish which is the wall click on the wall wall accessories these two um, objects will pop out from the accessories library i'll select the moldings and panel one that's the one i'll use for this case click on it and then go to model and panel settings in here i'll choose other general settings i'll choose i want to have because if you look at here these are the all um, settings that we have. We have moldings for the cornice, and then we have the for the uh, cutting lining of our walls, and then we have skating the side. 
but what we want we need to define it so this definition is the base chair and crown mode which is the base is the skating and then the chair is this number six then the molding is the cornice so what we need to do is to check on the base and the crown only so that it can only give us these two we are dealing with one and two three which is the cornice and then the the ceiling i mean sort of the the wall plaster which is number three and then number five is the cornice so i'll make sure i'll choose here in the list whatever molding i want i'll go with number 28 the coin the skating i'll find something uh, yes okay number 47 is fine perfect and then if you click on here on the next page i want us to change the surfaces so the base modeling which is the the skating i want uh, a wood finish so i'll go with oak oak light and then the chair strip which is the wall plaster i'll go to color white color white wash same applies to the molding same applies to this one color color white wash everything will be color white wash except the the base mode then to the representation um yeah here you can also change whatever settings you want i'll change the control pen to color six everything to color six just like so perfect fill type i don't want to maybe 12.5 percent is fine then make sure it's on the appropriate layer in this case I'll go to interiors, maybe under rooms. I'll say room, yeah, room date. And then hit OK. We left with uh, the moldings for for the floor finish. Click on the floor accessory. Um, in this case, I've downloaded this from the the uh, beam components this different types of uh, tiles so you can also go i'll put the link in the description for you guys to check on this it's a free download you can access it so i'll choose this one here yeah, building material pavers tools blah blah so if you come here under the settings no that's not the one let me use the flooring tiles that one mm. I hope oh yeah no that's not the one if you check under under this folder the material let's find something like building tiles I think this one you can choose from me. I also download it from the internet. So these are, I think this one is fine. So it has all this thing, different finishes of the floors. So you check on this one. It has all this different. I'll go with porcelain. Uh, porcelain. Stoneway light. Let me just pick anything for the sake of this demonstration, and then I'll also um, change the layer to a little data sheet, and then OK. Now, good to go. Hit OK, your finishes will be automatically generated. So, if you go back to your my queue, then F5 on the keyboard to 
see the macula there. So this is what you have. Now we have what? We have the floor finish in place, which is basically the porcelain tile, and then the skating in place. We have the the moldings, uh, the quarries for the uh, joints between the wall finishes and the ceiling finishes. And then we have our ceiling board there. This is so amazing, guys. I love really this uh, tool for automating all this process. So, yeah, I'm impressed. So, you, you can even change the height. You can go back and edit this. For example, if you want to, if you want, if you have the construction here for this ceiling, you have your buttons or your, your, your blunderings that will support the ceiling. So, it means this distance is, is too much. What you can do, go back to your, you change the height of your zone, for example. Let's select the height of our zone. Or before we do that, open this section, cut the section so that you can measure the height of the the height of your ceiling. So that we're gonna change our zone to that height. Just hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Mm, okay, let's measure. To measure, just hit M on the keyboard. And then we're gonna measure it from the floor level all the way to our trusses there. So it's 2.95. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna select our our zone, then we change it to 2.97, which is basically our height. And then from there, we need to update this to our already placed um, objects. You go back to design, then design accessories, I mean design extras, um, interior wizard, and then we're going to update our room accessories so that it, it changes that or it updates the heights of the thing. If you check on the 3D, oh sorry, uh, deselect the zoom my Q again F5 to check in the 3D you see now the height of is too hard so we didn't maybe calculate really the height that was not exact go back to your your section takes time to open our section yeah what we want was zoom okay we need to check the offset the base offset of our zoom first so it says 138 of which is fine this has to be 2.8 this go back to design having your zone selected we want to update our changes to the to the accessories interior wizard then update and let's mark you again f5 oh we're almost there we're almost there okay what i'll do i'll measure it from the 3d it's possible hit measure then measure to this 2 points so we need to cater for the let me say 2.7 let's just use 2.7 Design to update the room accessories. Check on the 3D. Perfect. Perfect. Now there's a little gap for our our buttons, of which is is okay. Perfect. You can you can you can now um, edit these components separately.
for example i can edit uh, the flow finish separately go to finish or object settings and then i'll change maybe to something else something like uh, this and then okay it will change and then i can also do the same to the wall to the walls and the base and then the corners yeah um thank you guys for watching i hope this really helped you to take out your modeling um, to the next level i really needed to share with you guys this thank you i'll see you in the next video make sure you subscribe if you are new to this channel and comment if you have any suggestion or any clarification you want us to make uh, go to the comment section and just share with us bye bye